challenge for Saigon was trying to mount a show that many people know in a way that they haven't seen it before, in a way that they will look at it and think, oh, this is fresh or new or has a signature about it that is ours. Miss Saigon, by virtue of the circumstances in the story, I don't think you have to play the circumstances. I'd rather play the hope and the love story in it, which um, is sort of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> things that you know drew me to the show the very first time I ever saw it I was swept up in the melody and the, and the operatic nature of it I mean by virtue it's based on an opera so I think they did a really wonderful job at taking you know Madame Butterfly and making it this sort of contemporary opera um, and I'm somebody who loves operatic scores and love soaring melodies and soaring voices and this show is packed with them so it's been a you know a, a joy every day because it's so sumptuous and rich. sometimes endures despite the most horrible of circumstances and how you can hold on to that to be protected from some of the most horrible circumstances. So we're trying to find a way in Saigon to keep the passion of it moving forward despite all of the things that are trying to combat that. It appeals, I think, to everybody on some level. It's, if you love musicals, it's a spectacular piece of theater. If you love great storytelling, it's a spectacular piece of theater. If you love pageantry, come and see the show. I'm incredibly excited for our audiences to see it. I think it's sort of the perfect ending to this season. All year long, I feel like we've been building toward this production um, and, uh, and everybody involved in it. We have all, since the very first day of rehearsal, felt like it's something incredibly special. Money to spare me!